Well, hey everybody, it's Pastor Jeremy, and I'm here uh, to uh, share with you our first video lesson for this second semester, uh, first video lesson for 2021, uh, as part of our virtual Sunday School uh, classrooms. And so I'm so excited to be with you today. Um, today we're going to be reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the fifth book in uh, the Bible, the fifth book of the Old Testament. So we have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and then Deuteronomy. So we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 30 today. And I'm going to read five verses for you, starting at verse 15. So verses 15 through 20. Um, if you have your Bibles and you want to read with me, awesome. Or maybe mom and dad could, uh, could open up their Bibles for you and show you where we're at. But we're at Deuteronomy chapter 30, starting at verse 15. It says, See, I set before you today life and prosperity and even death and destruction. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, and to keep his commands, his decrees, and his laws. Then you will live and you will increase and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. What this passage is talking about is the fact that God gives us everything. He gives us good things, and he gives us sometimes things that we view as being bad. Everything we have is given to us by God. There is nothing that exists now or that has ever existed in the past or will ever exist in the future that God didn't create. But I don't want you to misunderstand this. You see, the stuff that we see that is bad or that we would call bad or maybe we would even call evil, God originally created everything to be good. Everything. We know this because in God's word, in the book of Genesis, the very first book of the Bible, uh, we read that after God created the heavens and the earth and the stars and the sun and everything, he looked at the whole creation and he called it good. He said it was all good. So how did we get to the point where things are bad, where there's evil things or there's things that are, are not good? Well, we have to remember that sin entered the world. Remember what sin is? The, the bad things we do, you know, the bad things we say, those kinds of things. And so we have to remember sin entered the world. Sin began with those first two people. Remember their names, Adam and Eve? And ever since Adam and Eve <clears throat> disobeyed God and they ate that first apple in the garden that God said, don't eat from that tree, and they did anyways, Ever since then, sin has always been a part of our lives every single day. Every day, we find ourselves having to make decisions, for example, okay? We'll have to make decisions. Maybe in your life, that's a decision about what toy you're going to play with or which people you're going to play with at recess, at school, or um, whether you're going to do your homework or not, whether you're going to clean your room or not, whether you're going to listen to your mom and dad or not. We have a lot of decisions to make. Sometimes we make bad decisions. Sometimes we use things that God intended for good for bad. We put what we call our human influence on it. We put our own mind's influence on things and then they become bad sometimes. And so, um, for example, you might need to decide, for example, uh, which video game you wanna play. And let's say, um, let's say you and your friend have uh, the same video game system, two different video games. You really want to play the game that your friend has, but you don't have that game. So you're faced with a decision, right? You could either ask your mom and dad to buy that game for you, or you could go steal your friend's game. You know, what would be the good decision here? The good decision would be to ask mom and dad if you can get the game, right? The bad decision would be to steal the game. Now that game, God gave it to us. It's not necessarily bad, right? The video game's not bad. It's how we put our human perspective, right, onto that game. When we stole that game, that's when it became bad. The most 
important choice that any of us, the most important decision that any of us are ever gonna have to make in our lives, we make every single day. Did you know that? We have to make a really hard decision every single day. And that decision is this, am I going to love God or not? Am I going to listen to God or not? Am I gonna follow after the way that God has asked me to live? Am I gonna do what God asked me to do? Am I gonna follow his commands? Am I gonna listen to him? Well, in the Bible, we hear about this thing called rebellion. Now, you might not know what that word rebellion means, but rebellion is basically when, when someone or maybe even a group of people make the decision to not listen, to not do what they're told to do. So if your mom says, go clean your room, and you don't go clean your room, that's rebellion, when you choose not to do what you're asked to do, not to listen, right? And so rebellion happens in scripture, you probably guessed it, right? When we sin, when we do the stuff that God has asked us to not do, that's rebellion. So how do we fix rebellion? If rebellion happens when we choose to reject God, to push him away, to not listen to what he's asked us to do, then how do we fix that? Well, listen, we have to realize this. God holds us accountable. He holds us accountable when we choose to rebel. So just like your mom and dad, if your mom and dad say, go clean your room and you don't do it, right? When they come by your room, they say, why aren't you cleaning your room, right? You have a couple of choices. You can say, well, I just chose not to do it. I didn't want to listen to you. Or, you know, you can lie, I guess. The reality is you made a decision, right? You made a decision not to do this and you made a decision to rebel. When we choose to reject God, when we choose to rebel against him, not listen to the things that God asks us to do, God holds us accountable for that. He tells us, listen, you made a bad decision. But he doesn't just stop there by saying, you made a bad decision. He, the Bible says he urges us, he asks us, he pleads with us. He really, really wants us to reconsider that decision. And he always wants us instead to choose him. So when we rebel, God's hoping that we will come to our senses, if you will. We'll make a better decision and we'll choose him instead of that thing that we chose that was against what he asked of us. So everything we have been given has been given to us by God and everything was given for good for us. But our sin, the bad things we do, gets in there and it messes it all up. We have an important choice to make. Are we going to follow God? Are we going to love God? Are we going to trust God? Are we going to do our own thing? When we do our own thing, we rebel against God. God wants us to reconsider, to rethink that, and choose him and his way instead. And so I'll just leave you today with your memory verse for this week. Your memory verse comes from Deuteronomy chapter 30, and it's from Deuteronomy 30 and verse 6, the first part of verse 6. It says, I command you today to love the Lord your God, do what he wants you to do, keep his commands, his rules, and his laws. I know it's a long one. I'll, I'll read it for you again. I command you today to love the Lord your God. Do what he wants you to do. Keep his commands, his rules, and his laws. Deuteronomy 30, verse 6. I hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to being with you again for more of our Sunday School uh, virtual Sunday School classroom videos. Have a great week, everybody.